Hey, hello and welcome oh, <laughs> uh, to a review of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Here is a picture of Peregrine's balcony with Miss Peregrine. Uh, I, I sit, literally searched Peregrine and then I realised it's exactly the same spelling. Uh, and this is the contrast, this is the comparison for how my um, camera works. Backwards, forwards for me. Backwards, forwards. <laughs> Alright, um, so first things first, uh, just so people who watch this just for a bit uh, know what's going on. Uh, the week after this is uploaded, there won't be any videos going up because I'm going on holiday. I'm not saying where, uh, but yeah, going on holiday. So the next video after this will be a Halloween special. Yay. <laughs> or just a vlog. <laughs> De depending on what you believe. So, yeah. uh, you'll, you'll understand uh, October 31st. <laughs> Still. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, just like the Star Trek one, I am completely unprepared. Uh, but I was doing the short notice, which is what... Look at looking at the camera. It actually looks pretty nice. <laughs> uh, but that's kind of why it's rushed. Um, nice. <laughs> yeah, still, it's my TV. Um, yeah, maybe this, this may be a regular occurrence. Still, straight onto it. It's almost two minutes. All right. So first things first. Spoiler alert. I will be spoiling a lot of the film. <laughs> I remember some of it. <laughs> <laughs> including the ending. Alright, <clears throat> so, start from the very beginning. I forgot most of their names. <laughs> mm, well, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched it yet, watch it. Alright, so I've forgotten most of their names, so I'll just go through them. Uh, them. Alright, so the main character, I have no idea what their name is. <laughs> well, it starts with the main character, who can see monsters. Uh, he's this guy over here. I could have looked at the TV then. In fact. <laughs> Still, uh, he's that guy. You can see monsters. That's Miss Peregrine. Uh, we have Visible Boy. Uh, I really don't remember any of their names. Oddly enough, there's two Miss Peregrines on this picture. The bird. <laughs> um, there's. Yeah. She's supposedly made a fire. Then there's the reason he's holding a rope, which is because there's one which is lighter than air. There's one which can make things into puppets, and fire. And there's one which can broadcast dreams. I'm sure that I'm missing some. I'm sure of it. But oh, there's also the twins. I'll go back on, uh, back on to them, since it's not very open until much later. Still, uh, so we start with the person who can see monsters, and his grandfather. Uh, <laughs> well... He, he's... Uh, I'm absolutely useless to remember this. Alright, so, just going quickly through the story, and I really didn't able, or wasn't able to predict anything. Except normal horror things, which, which is weird, this is... Oh, a Tim Burton film. Okay, maybe I was wrong. I was thinking this was fantasy, maybe a bit horror. <laughs> Alright, so it starts from the very beginning, obviously. Um, and the person who can see monsters finds his grandpa dead. <laughs> well, there's a bit before that, but then it doesn't matter. He sees a monster, and there's someone else. Yeah. He goes into therapy. <laughs> this is important. <laughs> um, and then he finds a postcard which was born to his yeah, grandpa from Miss Peregrine. <laughs> and he goes to Wales, supposedly. Although I want to say it's North Wales. Since, well, it's nice weather. <laughs> Oddly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Uh, so, supposedly this is Wales. I don't know. <laughs> um, so he finds out that Miss Peregrine's home was actually destroyed during 
Second World War. There's a specific date and time, but I can't remember it. Um, and then he discovers, well, he notices the people, except Miss Peregrine. <laughs> uh, there are some very important things that I'm missing out, but really it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, it goes into a time loop, uh, then kind of runs away to where he's staying, and that's kind of where he realizes he's in the past. Then he goes to the home and meets Miss Peregrine, and such. <laughs> well, he's already met the rest of them. Yeah, Miss Peregrine. <laughs> uh, good. Uh, he doesn't believe he's special. Uh, he believes everyone else can see what's soul, you see. But it's later revealed that only uh, peculiars, uh, that's what the term for everyone is, um, can go through loops. Uh, well, he finds out that Miss Peregrine can turn into a bird, which she says isn't useful. How is turning into a bird not useful? You can fly anywhere. Um, she can also create time loops, which is what where I refer to as loops, which is pretty much what they refer to as. So I'm just going to say loops. <laughs> it's a lot easier than saying time loops. Uh, so, going quickly. Uh, not much really happens. He's introduced to everyone. He uh, supposedly he's crazy. I I don't believe so. He I I'm saying he suffers under horror movie syndrome, where he goes into crazy situations without even thinking. <laughs> uh, it makes more sense if you watch the film, but really he goes into dark places and he goes into an abandoned building. <laughs> Still going quickly through. I just go through the entire story and. Yeah, it's a good film. Uh, let's see. I rambled on and then I completely forgot where I was. So, uh, okay. Then he sees the time loop and how it works. It's quite good. <laughs> um, uh, but going quickly on, uh, he gets in trouble, such and such, he goes back and. Uh, then trouble starts to happen, where there are monsters. <laughs> Finally, uh, this is about the point where everyone realizes he can see monsters and no one can't. No one else can, except his grandpa. <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, but uh, still, no. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, it's still on, but. <clears throat> ah, where was that? Ah, yes. Ah, okay. Alright. <laughs> I'm rambling. Uh, so, you can see monsters, this paragon kills the monster, and then he leads one of the bad guys in. And that's where he gets interesting, because his psychiatrist is one of the bad guys. <laughs> well, technically speaking, it's a shapeshifter, so. Bad guy and shapeshifter. Yeah. And the bad guys are trying to gain immortality uh, geez, by uh, kidnapping, I guess would be the best term, uh, peculiars like Miss Peregrine, which can create time and can turn into birds. <laughs> uh, Miss Peregrine is kidnapped, and he's a com the person who killed his grandpa is sort of an accomplice of mean bad guys, uh, attacks the, the house, I guess would be the best term. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I'm missing over, but really this is the main plot. <laughs> uh, hmm. oh, uh, hmm. <laughs> because I knew where I was, I just completely forgot where I was. Alright, so yeah, they managed to defeat him, or the creature thing. Actually, kill it by <laughs> uh, a bomb, obviously. Um, still, uh, then they raise up a boat, which is shown earlier, which is a sunken war vessel, I believe. Well, I think you mean it's not a war vessel; it's like a steam, uh, a steam yeah, steamboat. Um, they go to Blackpool, and I remember one very specific thing when I watched this. I went to Blackpool last year, 
remember right, actually around this time. Um, <laughs> so, I wasn't too bust about if Blackpool was destroyed. Ah, <laughs> uh, crazy. <laughs> yeah, still. Uh, so, the main bad guys are in Blackpool in 2016. Which was pretty good because it was like this 2016 is this year. 2015, I went to Blackpool, so I wasn't too fussed. Uh, they bad guys decided to set up a base in Blackpool Tower. For some strange reason, they decided in the circus. Who sets up a evil plot in a circus unless you're clowns or bikers? I, I don't know. <laughs> Think about it. There's a lot of good reason. <laughs> Yeah, still. Uh, where was I? Yes. Uh, so they try to rescue back Her Miss Peregrine and such. Miss Peregrine and Co. in terms of viewers. Uh, they kind of succeed by using the person who can turn people and things into puppets uh, on a boat. <laughs> um, no. It's. Quite an interesting fight, I don't want to spoil too much, but I am spoiling the main plot. Uh, so they managed to rescue Miss Peregrine, and then the climax of the film, the shapeshifter shapeshifts into, what's his name, the person who can see monsters. <laughs> and that's where it gets interesting, because the rest of them are trying to rescue him, but there's technically speaking two of him. Ah, uh, <laughs> so they have to decide which one's which, uh, and that's where the very interesting thing gets in, because the monsters I referred to earlier, which was the bad guy's accomplice, um, <laughs> attacks the bad guy, um, and the reason he actually knows about it is because he can see the monster, and that's where it, I don't, I don't want to spoil too much, but I'm spoiling the main plot, so yeah. Uh, so he goes back to his time, they go back to their time, which was 1940-something. The same year that the house was destroyed. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, house destroyed... Um, then he goes back to his time, they go back to their time. He goes and visits his grandpa before his grandpa dies. This is where an interesting time paradox comes in, uh, which I'll come back to in a moment. Uh, but he talks to his grandpa, he finds money in the book that he gained earlier, which he, he really should have put this in notes, but still, uh, he gets money from his grandpa and a map, uh, so he knows where all the loops are, he knows where they were, um, and then they all live happily ever after, as happy as good as can. Uh, now then. This is where the interesting bit gets in, comes in, time paradoxes, because he gets the book from his grandpa after his grandpa dies, but because he goes back in time and gets the book from his grandpa beforehand, I have the question, were there two books? And his grandpa bought another one just in case. <laughs> oh, there was, was there one book and grandpa bought another one, or was there two books to begin with? Um, but really, you just got to think about it. Um, but I think the best term would be, there was only one book, and <laughs> the bad guys were just completely erased from time. It's the best way to look at it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah. A uh, quick note to about four minutes into the video. Uh, I'm not going to be uploading videos for the next week or so, um, or up until October 31st, Halloween or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I'll see you all then. If you like this video, like a comment. If you like this video, comment. Why do you like this video? If it's because of my fast talking, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just really like to get that bit over with. Um, <laughs> If you like this video, like, share, comment. If you like this video, comment. Why do you like this video? If you absolutely hated this video, you didn't have to watch it all the way through, but I like, <clears throat> commend you for your endurance. Thank you. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!